hey guys welcome back to my channel jx so here in today's video is going to be a hair review so if you hear anything super super loud that's my ignorant ass neighbors neighbors excuse me upstairs tenants because fuck them um yeah so today's video is just going to be a hair review on this hair that i have on i did purchase this unit with my own money so this is going to be a hundred percent my opinion um i got this hair from actually aliexpress it was recommended by a subscriber slash friend and they told me to check it out and i just wanted to check it out and give you guys a review i've had the hair for almost um i don't want to say a month but like two almost three weeks give or take two, two weeks for sure but i don't know if i hit the three week mark just yet so this is the hair feels really soft um no scent when you first get it, it does have a slight scent when you first get it, it does have a slight scent, similar to like a lot of, d depending on your vendor person, but depending on the hair you get too, sometimes they have a scent. This one was slight, so it's called Eva Hair. The specs is 150% density, um, 13.6, I don't know, 13 times 6 deep parting lace front. Uh, human hair, short bob, bleach knots, Brazilian hair. So yeah. So let's just get into it. getting it first off the package. I'll insert some video footage over here of me opening it up. So I'll just scoot over a little bit. So first off the package, the hair didn't seem too bad in my opinion. The box that it comes in wasn't too bad um it looked a little beat up and that just comes from depending on who you ship with sometimes shipping can be a little little rough with your packages as oh i'm slouching I'm trying to get better posture as many of you know packaging they're super rough with your stuff like they do not give a damn if you put fragile that means they gonna start throwing stuff around i ain't with the shits i like pretty packaging packages is what gets me normally but whatever like it wasn't that bad i don't really i ain't complaining basically so it was a little beat up so when you first get it they do give you some mac lashes highly doubt they're mac lashes but okay they're not bad i mean you could definitely tell they're fake and uh, you know that little trick people do with the um spoolie i think that's something that you would have to definitely do with these lashes because yeah but I'm not complaining. They didn't have to do all of that. Then they have a brochure of um, other wigs that they sell at their company. They give you a weaving cap. They give you a cute little thank you note. And I thought that was like so adorable. And then I can't tell from the video. I think they give you a nail file. They give you a brochure of like other wigs that they have with their company. So I thought that was pretty cool because if I like this, then I'm going to be buying from them again. Which I am because I actually do like them so then yeah so straight out of the box the hair was um it actually looked really nice it didn't look too bad the one thing i did notice it did claim to have bleach knots and i don't think they were i wouldn't say they weren't bleached but they weren't as bleached as um, i would like them or as like other people who notice things like that by all means if you don't do the bleaching and stuff you could literally just put some foundation on it and call it a day i'm not a bleach knots type of person but i did go out and buy bleach i watched one video and then i said jesus take the wheel i will insert the clip of me bleaching it and how it looked before and after which honestly it didn't look that bad as you can see if anything the only fault i would say is my own from plucking too much i don't know how to pluck i didn't do that ever this was my first time doing it on a real like human haired wig so i think i did good for my first time but i know what i need to do for the next time so i think the knots were like I don't think they weren't bleached, but I don't think they were bleached like, you know, bleach, bleach, you know, like lay and slay. I feel like they were just like, I, I don't want to call it bare minimum, but bare minimum bleaching, in my opinion. So I did go in and bleach them myself, and then that's when the wig went from like zero to hundred. I was like, oh shit, like this, this is the real thing. So, so we're going to keep it like that. So then I bleached the knots, and then I washed the hair because like I said, it did have a scent. It wasn't too strong where I didn't want to put it on my head, but I still was just like, when I had it, you know? Like when it's like a scent, but it's not like, oh my God, I can't like, you know? So that's how it was. The curl pattern that you first get is not different, 
but it is. Like, I don't know how to explain it. The curl pattern isn't necessarily different, but it's because of the way it was packaging, it might seem different, if you get what I'm saying, I don't know. Um, and then, on top of that, I would say it was pre-plucked. I just did a little bit of plucking, but it's because, like, the baby hairs was great. Probably needed to cut them a little bit because they were a little bit too long, but the actual, like, natural hairline, it was, a, like, really thick. It looked really thick on me. Like, I can insert some pictures, too. And then today, I plucked it some more, so I'm like, Ugh, I should have just left it and just left it thick. After, like, I bleached it and did a little plucking, I did like how it looked for the time being, and then I started watching YouTube videos, and I'm like, why don't... Why don't I know how to do that? What I did notice is the hair is like prone to like, you know, curly frizzy. And that could be a problem if you don't know about curly hair or you don't have like curly hair or you don't really deal with your curly hair, then you won't really know what to do with it. And you might actually end up hating this wig because of its curly frizzy vibes. My hair looks frizzy because I like to pick it and make it have more volume it comes with volume frizz comes with curly hair so if you're not really used to that then you might not really like it but I did use a specific product so to find my curls I did use two products I use the not your mother's curl line I think it's called curl talk line yeah so it's the not your mother's curl talk line these are the two products that I use to help define my curls and lay my hair my little edges that they have on here and all. those two products i think they will go great with this hair so if you do plan on check oh, if you do plan on checking this hair i would definitely try those two with it i got the 10 inches is 84.96 um if i but i did not pay that amount i only paid 69.76 because i did get it during black friday and then i had coupons as well so i got it for 69 dollars so under 70 bucks from yeah the seller communicated with me so good like every step of the way if i had any problems or issues like they contacted me i talked to them um it was like a really smooth transaction it got to me within three days i think definitely three days and it was coming from china so that's like really really impressive on top of that they didn't have a um a length that i wanted and they said oh it might take longer if you stay with that one it's like okay can i just cancel that one and then get this one instead and they said totally worked with me canceled got the new one got my money back and whatnot so it was actually like a really smooth transaction even though i got a unit in a longer um style than what i wanted i wanted the eight one but actually i'm happy that i did get this 10 one just really hair expect to get more than normal shedding because it's curly so back here does tangle like you can hear it like like back at the neck nape area your nape is gonna tangle because you sweat back there the hair just rests back there it rubs against like the clothing scarves whatever you're wearing that's gonna rub against that the most so just expect shedding and tangles back there that's like the only thing that like irritates me the most and then the shedding like it's not as bad but when you're doing it wet i definitely recommend like detangling wet but that's when you will get the most shedding like i just ran it through and i got like a little hair but it's not too bad where it's like oh my god i hate this unit you know like it's enough shedding to where it looks still nice and full but it's just shedding is just annoying in my opinion altogether but that's just me other than that yeah like i really love this unit and i'm gonna be rocking this for a while because i really like it and i think i'm gonna buy um a straight hair or like wavy hair from them i can't stop touching my hair like what's going on like hello like when i walk in i just be like what's up bitch? and then it is a frontal so you can you know Put it up i sometimes wear it like this half up half down or just mainly like this but it has some lace in the back too I don't want to put it in a ponytail because curly hair in a ponytail yuck but you can swoop it to either side i'm just choosing this side right now just because but yeah guys like 
Definitely recommend this unit. It's so cute. I feel like really cute and confident in this. You guys have not been wearing makeup just because like when my hair is done, I feel like I can be slick when it comes to makeup. Like today I just did my eyebrows, but I got some lash extensions. So I just been the baddest bitch ever. Did my nails. So I just been walking around like, hmm. You can you can leave me alone. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to talk to me. Who is you? Who is you? That like that's how I just been feeling because this unit honestly is just like life. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see me view, view, review other units, definitely leave a comment below. I do wear synthetic wigs and human hair wigs, depending on how much, because I will not be paying over $400 for a wig now. Nah. I thought my microphone was off. <laughs> do want to see me do some more reviews for hair? Definitely let me know because I do thorough reviews because people will literally get some hair, put it on and be like, oh my God, I love it. I've been wearing this hair and I've slept in this hair. This is a great unit. So. Like I said before, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you want me to do more hair reviews or anything like that, definitely leave comments below, because I be getting wigs, wearing them, and then I just never talk about them. I be forgetting I can record a video about it. But yeah, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.